Hello, today I'm in Kinver Edge where there are the rock houses which are amazing structures where there's houses that have been built into the rock face and people lived there uh, re relatively recently as well uh, but first I'm going to do the, the walk, the circular walk I'm going to do the rock house trail, it's a three mile circuit, it's about two and a half hours medium difficulty, um, some short slopes and uneven paths it says here uh, Heath Wood Sweeping Views Restored Rock Houses in the Remains of Nanny's Rock and Vale's Rock, whatever that is. So, do you want to come with me? This is a National Trust uh, location, recently acquired, I think. And it starts coming from the car park up into the woods. Now I can hear kids. And noise. But I think that'll go away as I'm, I'm doing the longer, the longer walk. But uh, it's an amazing day today. Uh, okay, I'm lost. Signpost here. See what it says? Permissive bridleway. Permissive. Right, I'm off to a bad start. I don't know where I am. Well, here's a sign for the car park and the rock houses. I'm going to leave the rock houses to the end. As tempting as it is just to go straight up to them. I'm going to leave it to the end because here's my first post marker telling me the purple trail is this way. I'm going to get out of breath because, well, I'll tell you why as we go. Silver birch, that is about the extent of my tree knowledge. This is the first walk I have done for over a year, I think. I've tried to come out and do some walking, but they were failures. During uh, all the lockdowns that we've had, I've pretty much been indoors like everybody else uh, been out a little bit but no I uh, I stayed in and ate <laughs> like everybody else 30% increase in obesity in the UK as a result of the last couple of years so here I am in Staffordshire yes yeah, Staffordshire and uh, I'm camping tonight in Shropshire and uh, today I'm just doing this because it's a pleasant relatively easy going walk and uh, it'll get me old heart pounding and there's a nice little interesting uh, reward at the end a little treat of these rock houses and if the pictures were accurate on the internet a little cafe for me to have a coffee coffee in the cafe so tag along enjoy listening to me listening to me huff and puff and my feet crunching on the, the paths and the birds feels like the first day of spring right so I've just come up there an orange arrow there, purple arrow there. I don't know what's ahead there, but so I'm going to go stick to my purple arrow, the longest route. And it's a sign there that says Nanny's Rock. So let's have a look. 
shared with bikes and dog walkers. Oh, I'm glad we're going this way. It's a fair climb down there, look. Just next to the bench here. Whoa, look. All the trees have got little little spurts of green on the top, but also some empty branches. So it really is the beginning of spring. Different sense of things changing. Which I think is one of the pleasures of the countryside, isn't it? The fact that you can see the change happening. Say, say you live in a city, maybe you don't see it so much. But, uh, out here you can. Use the stick to be my backup catch, capture, capture me if I fall. It's about 45 degrees. I always say it's 45 degrees, but this really is, so. Leave me alone. I'm glad I'm not coming up it. Got a feeling I will come up it in the other end though. I bet, I bet I've got to go up there. Just go down like a slope like this, which is such a simple thing to do, you know. But I'm just taking it easy because I'm just overly cautious. But I can feel it at my knees, which is good, right? I mean, I'd, I'd feel it at my knees if I went to the gym. But um, the fact I can feel it at my knees while exploring the countryside tells me I'm doing something good to myself. It's like my knees are going, oh, okay, you don't use this part of me normally. This is uh, a part of the knee you don't use, Craig. So you've decided you're going to use it again, have you? I'm doing it. Oh, oh there's a bench here too. So I'll be using I've got a bit of sweat on my forehead now this is what we want I do have to be careful because I've got high blood pressure I'm so like such a <laughs> invalid oh man this is great it's easy steps stop and have a wee bit of water let these guys pass You might notice that uh, on the path, it's kind of like open. There's no tall trees at the side of the path. Uh, that's because that's what's what, what they call a ride, where they kind of ride the trees up the bank. Um, and they do that to get more sunlight come in. And when there's more sunlight, you get different types of vegetation, different types of wildlife. And it just adds variety and diversity to the environment. And they've got some like the trees they've chopped down to make that day, to make space. They've let them lie on the ground dead to encourage insects. You can see how it's all opened up. This area here, and there's the trees lying. It looks a bit messy at the moment, but it'll all grow over. I love stuff like that. I guess. <laughs> Some of the trees will be naturally fallen, like oh, that one looks like it is. Had lots of storms recently, and they're bunching up scrubs like that. Insects will love it in there, and rodents. I seem to have uh, got myself caught in a loop of families, a huddle of families with the kids. The mums are garrulously <laughs> gossiping while the kids run around the, uh, the homesteads. Still on purple, not far to go. <laughs> I was getting a little bit wound up there. I wanted to go look at the caves, but there's kids in there and I couldn't. I don't want to go filming kids and I didn't want to spoil their fun so I had to just do some outside shots and walk on by but the caves are amazing I think they've got like um, graffiti written everywhere from over the years um, and I believe those were sort of carved out 
to a certain extent. There was certainly a big carving where the chimney was going to go. And um, yeah, a lot, a lot of the people in this area were involved, I think, in the tin industry, tin mining, and uh, what was it? I don't know, corn making, fabric making, cloth making, perhaps. So you make your home where you can, right? And sandstone is so easy to to uh, carve. Very durable. A lot of Scotland is made out of sandstone. <laughs> A lot of the houses but still peaceful and quiet I mean it's a well-trodden path this so I'm kind of lucky it's as quiet as it is so it's not really hard going as there's, there's ups and downs with the hills but the woods are fantastic and this is a good time of year to come just at the beginning of spring because you can you can see through the woods and see you know what's going on Whereas imagine in, in a month's time, this will be thick green. You, you won't be able to see the, there's a cave up there, for example, and you won't be able to see it because of, of the greenery of the bushes. Maybe these are natural holes that, oh, it's a house. Good Lord, what's going on here? Is it a mine? There's a building up there. It's telling us not to go up. <coughs> I, wonder, I wonder if there's a clear view of it. You can see all the natural rock here and there's the brickwork, the archway and the door. That's amazing, isn't it? I bet it's very damp. Rock houses. Continuing on the pathway past the rock house. On the side there, the purple arrow again blue route goes down there and the purple route goes this way so we shall go on it's getting a little bit overcast now I hope it doesn't turn cold but uh, we'll keep going I'm enjoying myself see this is gorse gorse bush have you I've had these all through my childhood these things have existed they smell nice in the summer and over here is a pine cone tree with pine cones on it life goes on doesn't it winds getting up I'm now wandering through a wood and I can hear the wind in the trees it's turning cold sun's gone in and I'm starting to get a little bit worried about the weather because I've got no jacket just this t-shirt, that's it I'm thinking this is quite Star Wars-y you know well, there's a split in the road here oh this is my turn so I'm halfway I think I'm halfway. This is my turn. A bit of grass. I can't beat a bit of grass. There's going to be some climbing to do. Whew. I've just climbed up there. And then I'm going to have a little seat here and look at the book. See where I'm at. <sighs> I'm fine. The book seemed to bear no resemblance to what I was doing, so I kind of, kind of abandoned it. I'm following the purple arrows. I'm happy with them. Oh, this is a climb. I knew this was coming. It doesn't look like a climb, does it? it? Looks nice and flat to you sitting at home watching this, but it's a climb. I have to keep I'm fine. Feel free to, uh, you know, buy me a cup of coffee or something. There's a link in the description. 
if you've appreciated what I'm doing for you. I'm only joking. I do this for me. I like making videos, you know, and I like sharing my experiences. And it kind of motivates you to do it as well. So I don't expect any gratitude. But as I say, there's a link in the description. Are they Shire horses? Um, they're cobs, they are. Cobs. Yeah. Hello. Mm. All right. My throat, could do some water. Oh. <laughs> Are you comfortable at home there? You alright? Have a cocoa. I sit down, put your feet up, watching me. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're nearly home. Got to put a tent up yet tonight. Get some warmth in me. But it's not long to go. Just as I arrived at Rock Houses, there were some people coming out and I stood there patiently at the gate waiting for them to move out the way so I could get in. And the woman said, can I help you? And I was like, no. <laughs> I said, no, I was just ho hoping to get in. She said, oh, we close at four. I says, oh no, this is a disaster, this is a disaster. She said, oh, sorry, yeah, we close at four. And I, uh, I thought, oh, can you tell me how to get back to the car park, please? Right, here I am, where I started. Oh, there's the car. Right, I'm done. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I know I did. <laughs> I can't talk. It all went a bit wrong at the end really after the big walk that I'd done I came around the corner and saw rock houses <clears throat> and just as I was approaching the gate a woman was leaving the building and she turned to me and said yes can I help you and I said no thank you I'd like to go inside and see rock houses and she said it's closed it closes at four and I went oh no that's a disaster. She went, sorry. And I'm thinking, who closes at four on a Monday? So all that, and I missed it. Now there's a chance I could pop back tomorrow, but it's unlikely. Uh, but I'm here now. Uh, I'm all set up for camping, which will be a separate video. And uh, I just wanted to do a little summary of that walk. I'm, I'm gonna give it like, six out of ten I think because it it, it became I, I filmed less as it went on because it kind of became a bit of a dog walking um, walk it was very uh, very well trodden ground and I just started as I got towards the end I, I think I joined another shorter route and there was just lots of dog walkers around so it was kind of like not really feeling very countrified it wasn't my thing but I really loved the exercise. I loved, uh, you know, it, it really kind of was kind of challenging for me being a big guy. And I liked it from that respect. But uh, I would recommend people check it out. But for me, I like more remote uh, places that are a little bit quieter uh, and aren't really dog walking routes. So if you enjoyed that video, 
um, please like, subscribe, comment. Uh, do comment down below. Let me know if you've been to rock houses and what your thoughts are about it. I don't really know much about the history of it, uh, other than the fact that uh, people it, up right up until the, the 60s, the 1960s, were living there. Um, it's just a very bizarre uh, set of houses that have been carved into the side of a, a sort of a, a, a wall of rock. It's it's quite a remarkable um, place. Uh, well, let me know what your experiences of it has been. Anyway, for now. Until the next time I see you, cheerio.